Hello guys and first of all thank you all for all the donations and we actually already bought the drill and as well I was able to afford a new headset with a lot better microphone quality for the videos in the future with the money I got. So uh, thanks for everyone who donated and let's get started and show you our new drill. Hello guys and welcome to another update about our scooter project and first of all our new bench drill the Rotwerk RB18 and originally we planned to buy the Bosch PVD40 but we actually um, yeah, refused this and got this one because uh, the other one was well, well too inaccurate but this one as you can see absolutely rigid no play at all and I just wanted to quickly demonstrate you how well this actually works so this is a um, um, 9mm uh, uh, drill and it's solid steel and as you can see the machine isn't really loud and I can just drill a hole in it. Well I don't this is just a test gear here, so as you can see there are a lot of test holes in it. But uh, for demonstration I just wanted to show it you once that this is a quality project and it also has a variable transmission. So I can increase the speed or slow it down even more. So, uh, unlike other bench drills where you have to manually switch the uh, uh, gearings at the top, this uh, is just done with one lever, which is pretty cool. And so, let's show you what we already uh, did on the scooter. And uh, yeah, we can already show you the motor in action. Okay, so here we got our old electric bicycle, and currently we just connected the motor. Just if you take a look down. Uh, and yeah, so the wiring is a little bit, uh, well, not completely mounted yet, but it's already working. And over here you can also see the batteries. It's uh, actually RC batteries at the moment, but uh, we're not sure if we're going to replace them for a scooter, but they are already working. And here you can, can, you can see the voltage and everything else which is of interest. And so let's just turn it on and give it a little test run here. So what you can see at the moment is uh, the chain is pretty loud. This is what's actually mainly causing the noise. And so if I'm before I go full throttle here, I'm just going to uh, get on my ear pads. <laughs> so we have to get uh, the noise down somehow. But it's not the motor; it's actually just the chain. So let's just crank it up a little bit. perfectly working here and so the next part is pretty much just to assemble the motor and put the back wheel on top of it again and find a place to store the uh, batteries and the controller and everything. 